three, two, one. Here we go! Welcome to the Jamie Foster Brown Show, and I am your host, Jamie Foster Brown. And today, please help me welcome reality TV star, Love and Marriage, Hotsville. Woo. Please welcome Mr. Martel Holt. How are you? With hey, I'm wonderful. <laughs> uh, pleased to meet you. I, I'm your excellent father, a great yeah, business you. partner, support of your wife's business, but... People are hating on you anyway because you are unapologetically a cheater. Should, should someone say that? Is that what we're gonna say? I, I don't know. I'm not going along with any of that. But um, okay, Jamie well, and um, commit. Mike. You hey, commit. Jamie and Mike. Hey, thank you guys for having me onto the show. Um, mm-hmm. I really appreciate it, and uh, for I guess giving me um, somewhat of a a platform to I guess to speak. You know what? I, I appreciate you coming up. And I, that was one of the questions I was going to ask. Why do you want to come on the show? What do you want to do? You just want people to understand your point of view or do, or do you just want to teach us another way of thinking about life and how life happens to us and how we how we maneuver it? What's the purpose of this? Because people well, come at you pretty hard. Yeah, they do. They, they act, Yeah, they, they do. And I understand it, too, though. You know, um, I have a I have a beautiful family. And but sometimes people just people just realize well, well some people think that um, one can one should do any wrong you know as if they don't do any wrong um, but I, I feel that things that we've gone through is very educational um, it can help other um, marriages and other relationships so I think that people really should um, mm-hmm. don't throw stones um, too quickly because you're gonna go through something in life we don't we don't know what you're gonna go through in life but you're gonna go through something. And um, like I, I spoke to someone on the last interview, I said that you don't want people uh, to throw stones at you um, whenever you make your mistake or whatnot, you know? Mm-hmm. So, but I have thick skin and, um, you know, I go through my truth and, you know, and the, the mistakes I've made, you know, I, I live with it and, you know, I try to correct it as, I, as time progress. Do, is it tiring for you to uh, try to understand your point of view or t- tell people about your point of view? Is this an educational process that in your mind that you feel that these things happen? Um, how do you deal with it? It's not like you just went out and shot somebody, but you just feel like if we're married, if I'm married, from what I've been getting from the other um, you know, uh, interviews, if you marry, you have a right to be um, a man and wife in a, a, you know, in a sexual way, and that's your right. Am I wrong? Is this is the thing? And Melody sometimes mm-hmm. says no. Or well, well, no. Well, well this is the thing. Mm-hmm. If, if you're in a committed relationship, yes. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel that your mate should be taken care of accordingly, whether that's um, making sure you, you, you know, you're cooking. I mean, mm-hmm. if, if you're the cook, make sure you you, you cook. Um, if, if it's sexual, make sure that your mate is being taken care of sexual. Um, because like, again, it's just the two of you guys, you know? You don't want no outside people coming into your marriage. So it's like, you need to take care of, of your home. And, so you know, I'm sorry, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think when people start to, now I'm not gonna say forget, uh, would not put value on the things that they should do, I think um, you, you miss a step and it, it, it could cause um, others to get into your relationship. So if, if, if women, women have a lot of stuff going on inside of them, you know what I mean? We make, we make people, we make humans. So, um, so, 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 so you guys were built for that. We're built for that. And so there are certain things chemically go, that goes on with us that we may not want to have sex, even when you have your, your uh, menstrual cycle, okay? So uh, is the woman forgiven for that time of, of the Oh, month? of course. So, See, I, I, I never was a very, very sexual person, you know? Oh, a, no. a is, I'm sorry. You, are you serious? You weren't? No, not overly sexual, no. no. That, this is a normal thing. It's not like you requesting it every night or twice a day, right? No. Okay. Correct. I'm just yeah, making no. 
Uh-huh. No, no, it, it was not. I've never been like that, you know. Um, actually, over the year, as years ago, you know, my my wife, she was more of the um, aggressor, you know. But I guess as time progressed, you know, I guess we we all everybody gets busy. But uh-huh. at the end of the day, you still have to know, especially if your if your mate is sharing with you um, what needs to be done. I think that you should definitely take care of that, you know. Do you do you mind people? judging you you seem to have thick skin you know like you you really want us to understand this you and it's not just for your uh purpose but i think from the male perspective do your your buddies agree with what you're doing and and do they say man why are you you know talking your business out in the street or tell me well no no Mm -hmm. um they they understand you know i have a platform and and, and they understand you know Uh, my friends were friends um, they understand the things that I've gone through and the things that I'm going through and me speaking out about it, you know, cause I mean, I, I talk to them, you know, I mean, some of my friends, they've gone through some of the things I'm going through. So they, they help me out too on the way. Okay. Um, I mean, that's the good thing. Always talking to someone that has already gone through it, you know, that's an educational moment right there as well. Where are you so, now? Are, are, are you in terms of you're happy with where you are now with the relationships, both with the and uh, Hell no. Hell no, I'm not happy right now. No, I'm what, not. What do you want? What do you want right now? <laughs> no, it's, it's not about what I want. It's just right now I'm in a position where it's, it's still all, it's, it's new to me and it's still <laughs> surreal. Okay, go ahead. You said what? And it, I said it's all new to me and it's um, pretty surreal that it's like, um, it doesn't seem real. Oh, it does. Like the things that I'm going through right now, like, you know, the things that I was doing, I didn't see this moment. I didn't see that my wife was not going to be in this house and my children, we're going to be switching my children out um, every other week, you know? This um, is hard though. This is difficult. Oh, it's, it's very, it's very difficult. Though, I, though I'm a, I'm a strong man, you know, I'm a manly man. I, um, I have thick skin, so I don't care about what people say uh about me and things of that nature um but i mean it it hurts you know because i'm a family man first i've always been a family man i I could see that you know i i'm I'm really interested in in um i I think you're uh you're a very interesting person that i feel that you're an interesting person because for you to go through the uh, through this and also try to explain yourself it's not even that you're just talking for yourself i think you're talking for all men these are things that your buddies and friends feel like they should have their needs met um, when when they want that, right? And you you don't feel like you've done anything wrong. How do you feel about that? Did you, you no? Know, of, 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 of course, mm-hmm. of, of course, I've done wrong. Of course, mm-hmm. I've done wrong. And I think anyone that would um, go out and and do what we call cheating, I mean, I feel that's wrong. I mean, you shouldn't cheat. Period. I'm, I'm wrong by that. Okay, so if- um, but but you know it's always um, it's always gonna be a reaction to your action, no your matter act- what it is. Though you, you follow but me, not, but you were reacting to her. Did, didn't you feel that she had cheated first? Was it first or she had no. cheated? Uh huh. In, in in the beginning, no, I, I didn't. I didn't think that okay. she did some of the things that she presented to me. No, I didn't think that at first. Um, in the beginning, I never thought that. Um, it, it was more of um, just denying me, um, if anything, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but if if suppose you denied her, you know, would that how would you have you know felt? Have you ever denied her at sex or anything like that? I'm pretty sure. Um, over the years, I've done things that, or well, I, well, I didn't do certain things that I was I should have done. Like what? Like what? Tell me. I don't know. Probably didn't take the trash out when I was supposed to. I don't know. (laughs) Okay. You know those roles when you're married. You know certain things. You know, like um, certain times she didn't cook and I complained. Mm -hmm. You know, I I set her down and had a meeting, like with her and her mom. Mm -hmm. When her mom moved up here to us, you know, I set them at my at my dinner table, like, hey, listen. You guys got to start cooking. I, my, my kids shouldn't be eating, eating out, you know? Yeah, I said, y'all need to figure out who's going to cook today and who's going to cook in two days, you know? So why why wasn't um, she cooking? Was it because of the business that she was so busy? 
you think? No one is no one is ever too busy to do um, certain things that you should do, especially when, um, when when you have a man that's handling business, you know? Because I, I would say that no matter what, th this is my thing too. If mm -hmm. your man is handling his business, mm -hmm. bringing in money, once your man say that you need to do certain things, like, um, hey, baby, listen, this makes your dinners cook. You know, you don't have to. I mean, like, I know you setting up me um, got meetings and stuff, but like, that's secondary, you know? Like you don't have to go out and break your neck to make money. Is that taken care of? I'm what I'm noticing from you. I, I was married 46 years. I had a slam dunk husband. I mean, I'm amazing. And what kind, of, what kind of dunk though? What kind of dunk? What kind of slam dunk? Well, he he uh, we worked on the business together. We worked to um he actually he um he left his job to come and build sister to sister, you know. So okay. we we had, yeah, and we had a lot of fun, but there were some times that it was difficult, but we enjoyed each other. And yeah. uh, there was a, a, a time that we kind of broke up a little bit, but the friendship was there. And the fact that he had, he had gotten behind me and made me grow in the business, which I understand you did this for your wife also, right? With yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, I, I would definitely say that um, we, I was definitely Mel Melody's um, support. I was the person who pushed her, even mm -hmm. when she didn't know what to do. I was that person who kind of right. like guided her, you right. know? Right. Um, but yeah, I was 110% behind her, yeah. But when did, when did the disconnect happen? When, how far into the marriage was it that, that look, you got dis disappointed at that point that she wasn't taking care of the physical side that was so necessary for you? Well, you know, at, at times, I guess I was being, a, I was being a little selfish though, honestly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, because I said I was being a little selfish. Yeah, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. um, I could have handled the situation differently, even though I have a quote unquote an excuse or I have a reason for my act, my uh, my actions, I still could have handled it differently, you know? How could, I, how, um, how could you have done it? Now that you think about it, what, what would you have done? I mean, I could have sucked it up. <laughs> and not and not yes. cheat it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. If my wife don't, if my wife don't want to cook for a week, or, or she don't want to give me sex for a month, I mean, suck that shit up and don't and just you know, shit. I don't know. Do something else. I don't know. I haven't. I still don't. I still don't have that figured out to this day. You okay? don't have to figure. Out. Would you? You don't want. You guys don't want to get back together, huh? At all? That's not gonna. Would, would that happen? Is that? As you all grow, as you mature, and you know things change, and the yeah. children are growing and stuff, yeah. would that would that be a possibility? Anything is possible, but like right now, you know, we really focus on the children, you know, on the children, on, on, okay. on co parent and things of that nature. But I mean, you, you know, you never know. You know, Melly um, has been my my my, uh, my rock, my best friend for the last what thirteen years. You know, we've done so much, we've gone so many places. We we have four children together. You know, so it's like, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Have I mean, you it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful thing what we had, though. You know, I can see it in your face as you're talking. You oh know? yeah, I, I, I really can. I mean, I, uh, you, you remind me of my husband. I mean, he would do everything. I, I, I had that dude. You know, he was just awesome. So, I, I, yeah. I kind of look at it like, wow, you all built all that together, and then, you know. The one thing, and, and sex is very important, especially with women. How would she have acted if you denied her? Um, was she, you know, did you ever deny her, you? Um, when it comes to, to my, be a little bit more specific. If you, if she wanted to have sex, did you ever deny her? Um, no. No, not even if you were mad at her or anything like that. Um. You know, I can't recall. I really, okay. I really can't recall, but I, I doubt it. Okay. Do you like having two women or two? Do you think a guy should have two or three women around? Is that something like the Muslims do? You know, they have two or three wives. And so that if one wife is not feeling up to it or pregnant or something like that, they go to the next. Would that have been something you would have been interested in? That's a different way of looking at things. <laughs> not, honestly, I think, I think any man... Uh -huh. would definitely want that. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think any man would want that. If he says that he wouldn't want that, I mean, he's a, he's a lie. 
how how were you raised and what did your parents say about the situation Tell um me well that. single parent household you know mm -hmm. um you know i was morbidly raised in um i guess you know my mom taught me more more of um you know how to love when it comes to you know like um a friend families and things of that nature you know she always taught me how to you know, you hug, you kiss, you say, I love you and things of that nature. You know, that's what my mom um, instilled in me. Um, you know, that's the same thing I still in my children right now. You I know? see they that, go, I see that. They'll greet you with a hug and yes, ma'am, no ma'am. And, you know, as time progresses, I love you. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things that my mom instilled into me. Um, but, you know, she's never been married. Um, but hopefully one day her ass gets married. I'll tell you that. So Mom has never been married? She has never been married, yeah. <laughs> Which is a, it, it's a, it's such a marriage is such a beautiful thing to me. So I really hate that I, um, that I shared in like really messing our marriage up. I hate it because I, I really love marriage. Like I, I tell my friends how beautiful marriage is, and not to ever mess up, you know. But still, when I tell them not to not to go out there and cheat, but you need to make sure that um, everything's been taken care of at the house too, though. In terms of make sure your your mate. Make sure y'all taking care of each other, you know? Well, does she cheat also? Has she ever cheated on you that you know of? Yeah, I mean, she did, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she she admitted to that, yeah. Okay, she admitted to that after she knew about you or before? Oh, at, most definitely after, of course. Most definitely after. So has yeah. she been um, unhappy for a long time and just mm -hmm. you just didn't know or... It was like was that like a pop up situation with the, with her and the guy? Or do you know? No, no. I mean, I, I didn't know it. I didn't know anything about it. So how did you take it when she told you? But oh, um, it, it to me. I mean, it was it was a tough pill to swallow. Um, but at that moment, I stopped trusting. Right. I stopped trusting women. Oh, you stopped trusting at that time. Yeah. I, yeah. How long? How how long had you been married when that happened? Oh, I mean, she just broke the news. She just told me this um, back in April, last year, April. Um, what is this? <laughs> Wait a minute, last year, just March, 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 April. Yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, she shared that with me. Uh, I mean, she... but 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 she said that you know it's um, when she when she moved out, we kind of like got into it because she she'll be the only one who would um, leave the house. Even before we had children, if we get into it a little bit, she'll leave for a couple of days, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even when we had children, she'll leave for days, you know, for a couple of days at the most. And um, like I never questioned that, you know. But now it's like I look back on it, mm -hmm. like hmm. where you used to go back then. Like yeah, now I, see that you, I, I see now that you um, admitted to cheating on me, um, but you said you had moved out, and it was after I cheated on you first. So okay. I know that's something good to say though. Well, but I look I look back to when you used to leave the house for a couple of days because you were mad at me. And you say you used to in a hotel, but you used to, anytime she get mad a little bit, she would be gone. So now I question those days. Wow, you know. Yeah, uh, I question those days. Yeah. But uh, but she's never well, what does she do now? How do you what's your relationship now? Do you, you all talk to each other or I saw something where you she was pretty yeah. awesome. She was pretty what now? Hostile. You, she, you were trying to talk to her and she didn't want to. Do you have do you have love for her still? Of course. Do you would you oh, like oh, would you like to get back with her? Um I, I, I can't speak on that. I don't okay. yeah, I can't speak on that. You know, I want to tell I want to be truthful, mm -hmm. but I really can't right now, you know. No, I, I appreciate that. When do you think you'll marry again? Oh, of course. You like being married? No, I, I, I love being married. Yeah, I want to come home to um to one woman. I want to, I want that. So, so and, uh, then, and then some people would be like, so why did you? Damn it! <laughs> I want to I want to come home to a woman who's going to take care of me, who's going to compliment me, who's going you know I'm going to do that too. You know, Melody wasn't lacking for anything when it came to her husband, nothing. Like not one thing she was lacking for. She couldn't complain about anything that her husband, um, by me being there, nothing, nothing. Well, I, I kind of, 
You know, my husband and I have, um, I, I look at this differently my, because my husband and I, we had a, a great relationship, but I left him at, at some point. I, I think that was in our 25th year or something like that. Because mm -hmm, we were married. You needed another man. <laughs> you that's needed what, another man. That's what, I, that's what I tell people. Listen, because I said, wait a minute. Um, I would like to have a companion at this age because, but it's very difficult in, in terms of black men because a lot of our men were locked up. You know, so they've been doing 25, 30 years, that sort of thing. So I see a lot of men around here. I'm in Harlem. And, oh, but okay. they, yeah, but they have, you know, they have issues, mental issues. They've been on drugs. They have no education. They just open up the prisons and just pour them out, you know, which mm. I'm pretty pissed off about so what sad, they've done yeah. to our men. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's been, a, my husband's been dead five years, but he was, a, a, he was an that. excellent husband. He was, um. But sometimes there's something inside that says, wait a minute, I'm not happy here. I'm not happy in this situation. And I cheated on him. And then, but we got back together, you know. And I was like, and I had to really take a, why did I cheat on him? He was a wonderful guy, very, very handsome. You're a handsome guy, but he was, he, he was a darling and just mm -hmm. as sweet Thank as he you. can be. So by listening to you, how you're taking care, helped her with the business and everything, my husband did that. He yeah. built this to the sister, he built it. That was him, yeah. he left his job and he was he was the dude, you know? So yeah. I feel it's some kind of, I'm, I know people are so mad at you about, you know, you seem to be, well, I've heard is that you're arrogant and you know, it's, you think that it's fair to cheat and all, and all that. Uh, but I'm trying to get into your mindset. That's what I. Uh, yeah, that's I, what I, I feel I, that. Yeah. Yeah, I want to understand that because we're so quick to to uh, damage black men and say like all black men cheat. And they do this, that, and the other. Yeah. And I, I don't. I don't like see, that. Cause... See, th th that's when I. That's when I speak up. You know. Um. I know I'm not a bad guy. I. I, I feel that any woman. I guess it's my arrogance. I feel that any woman would be be happy to be with a man like me. But the thing is, is like. Um, Cause I, I've never been, a, I, I say it often, like I've never been a cheater, you know, ever, ever. And I've always been in relationships. I love being in relationships. Um, you know, when it comes to the, you know, being romantic, when it comes to, you know, just having fun, enjoying life. And when it comes to taking care of the children, it's like I'm on top of all of that. So it's like, you know, um, and, and I love too, you know, I love to love. What does that mean? So how do you how do you show love? A lot of women don't know that because you know we didn't we don't have really a great crop of guys that, that have been brought up to learn how to love. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That you know yeah. they you know we and then we had all the drugs poured in. So explain to me what uh, what it is to be in love and how to love a woman. I mean, this is not just for me, but this is for any guy or woman that's listening at this time, you know, what's important about that? Cause you say, you know how to, you know how to love somebody. What does that mean? Yeah, I, I mean, it's like once, when you love somebody, mm -hmm. it's, um, it, it's certain things you, you won't complain about. It's certain, it's certain things you, you don't see um, in terms of their flaws. You don't see their flaws. Give me an example you know, of that. What's an example of that? <laughs> um, I don't know. You can, I mean, it's like you can almost, you know, you can, uh, a woman, she's lacking, lacking hair, you know? Um, and somehow, some way, you know, it just, her hair just disappeared um, overnight or something like that. Okay. You know, uh -huh. but, that, but that love that you have for her, uh -huh. it's really like you just don't even see that it's you don't, gone, you know, it's gone right. you, you see through that okay. you know uh -huh. um it's just a lot of things that you just you don't pay attention to um that she would think is, is flawed you know um <laughs> Give me an you, you, you want to make her happy okay you know uh -huh. um some of the things that <sighs> and i guess it's just to the, the person that i am you know like to this day things i, I say i'll say this constantly because it's me and because it happens in, in terms of I would want us to go to the park. I would want, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to initiate the holding hand. I'm going to initiate the kiss. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure that you, you have your favorite drink. I'm going to make sure when I go into this store, Melody, I'm going, 
I know you love donuts. Yeah, yeah. Well, next I come out this store with your with your white powder donuts. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I I know what you love to drink. You love cokes. So you know, when I come home, I'm gonna bring you a coke. You know, it's like it, it's certain things that you just do um, because you care for somebody and that you want to be the best that you can be. So those are the things that I used to do. You mm -hmm. know, for Melody, you know, like anytime we go out of town or something like that, I ask you want something at the store, she might be like, no, but I'm still gonna bring these donuts back. And guess what? You're gonna eat them on down the road mm -hmm. or, her, or her sunflower seeds. I, you know, I, I did how all did, of that. How did you learn that? You said your, your mother wasn't, was never married, but was there a man in the house when you were growing up? Tell me this. Oh, man, oh, well, well, she, she had a boyfriend, mm -hmm. but I, I, I didn't see that love between them, you oh. know, um, which is very unfortunate, you know. Like I, I didn't, we didn't see the witness, like the hugs, the kisses and stuff like that. Well, my mom, she, she was, she was that type of person. You're an affectionate But it person. wasn't like mutual. Are you affectionate? You're an affectionate person? Just, some, yeah, I, I, I would definitely say so. Yeah. Well, when yeah. I say that a lot of guys, they, you're not just touching to have sex. You're touching because you want to touch that person and you want to yeah, right. be close like to the, them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the, like the holding the hand, putting my arm around you and kissing you on your forehead. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's. That's me, yeah. Are there a lot of women coming after you now? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Not many, but just a little bit. Anybody you're interested in? I guess it depends on the, the level of interest um, that one would have. Um, so it's levels to it. So yes, I mean, I have, I have interest, but to what degree though, you know? Um, I'm more of a serious person. Like I don't like to, I don't like to, to roam. Regardless of Martell, yeah, I cheated. Yeah, that was one person too though. Keep that in mind. That says a lot still, regardless of what. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like to roam. So, um, well, how, how is the, the relationship with you and the baby's mother? What baby's mother? The baby, the baby that you had, the the the, the woman you who, had sex with. Who, who, What's her name? Said, uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, Arianne. Yeah, Arianne. Arianne. yeah. Who said we had a baby? That's what they said. They said that you had the ba had a baby or having a baby. Y'all like y'all had to show me some pictures. I ain't seen that. Pregnant. Hey, listen, I know we talk about certain things on the show, so people got to tune in to the show yeah. to see how it's going to turn out. But when it comes to y'all talking about her having a baby, her being pregnant, I don't know. We got to watch the show. Okay. Welcome to Love and Mary Tunsville. Are you, are you still involved with Ariane? You still like her? My screen froze up. What did you say now? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike. Mike, are you there, Mike? <laughs> Mike, Mike, go. Mike, Mike, you go. Mike. No, you on your own. In this world, you on your own right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being on my own. I tell you that. I do not like that. You don't like that. Own. Tell no, me. A I, I need companionship. Yeah. Okay. All right. So do you have companionship now? You're not Melody and not together. Do you yeah. have it? You do have it. You found it. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I, I entertain. No, definitely entertain. <laughs> okay. Uh, you entertain young ladies. They, 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 these women go make me entertain. Shoot. They're going to make you entertain, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't have a they choice right you. now. They make you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, yeah. Are you Somebody happy? coming up the steps right now. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> are you happy? How, how are you feeling? No. Mm. No. Yeah. I mean, overall, I am happy overall. I um, I really wish you all the best. You know, I know you get beat up pretty badly and, you know, that um, it's, it's a bad thing. I think that you have, you, you have, you have reasons why there's something in the marriage that you want. You know what you want in life. And yeah, so I hope, yeah, I hope you're able to find it and that you guys are not... Um, mad at each other can still have a good relationship those children are beautiful yeah thank you they are i love them so much yeah i could see that that's a, yeah. I, I think there's so all of us have flaws but um and i certainly had it you know but my husband and i got yeah. back together we had a wonderful time we built sister to sister i miss him very much and i i pray yeah. that you all find happiness and and uh, and yeah. have a, a tight unit okay yeah
I, I do too. Okay, anything else that you can leave us with something that's gonna be really up, uplifting? No, I, I mean, I, I just hope everybody, <laughs> And again, like I really, it, it doesn't bother me that um, every, cause everybody has an opinion about things and, and you know, certain things that we just don't accept, you know, cheating is one of them. We don't accept, I don't accept it either. I don't like it. Uh, but we was definitely said that was a, a mistake, um, something that should not have happened. But, you know, going through life, you're going to encounter situations like that. Mm. And you just have to, um, be strong enough and, and and get back on your feet and push forward. And, that, you, and that's where I'm at right now. I mean, it, cause it's tough. I'm, I'm going through a lot. Um, a lot of things that I'm having to overcome and, and fight through and, but I'm gonna be a better person. And, um, and, and again, I'm gonna be a great husband to say, you know? What are we gonna see in the upcoming issue, um, the episodes, anything? <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be very interesting. Um, a lot of the things that you're asking is going to be answered. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good show. Okay. It's, a, it's a very, very good show. So you don't regret being on the show at all? <laughs> I ain't going to be honest right now. You can't be honest. I, I, yeah, I can't, I, I, yeah, I, just, I, I can't right now. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just, I'm just... I, I thank God for the position that I'm in right now, though, okay? Because okay. I can't change it, so thank God for the position that I'm in. And uh, and then your relationship with the the brothers, with the other you know other guys and stuff is cool. Everything's good. Um, we're working on that. You know, again, like that's something that you'll that you'll see on the um upcoming um episode. But yeah, we we're working on it. Um, I think that um all all real friendships, all relationships. I mean, it's the same thing. Relationships, all relationships. You're gonna go through something. And again, um, if, that, if those people are, are worth being your friend, if you know, if you know that there are real people, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, keep them around, keep them as your friends, you know, but yeah. people know who their friends are. They know who people know who real people are, you know? Oh, so. I, I appreciate you spending some time with yeah. us here as this is your sister. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. I hope we we'll get to talk again. Janelle is one of my very best babies. I just I love her. Oh, oh that's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, she I love this girl very, very much. Very smart, very beautiful. I love her. So thank um, thank Janelle for let, introducing us and hope to most, talk most to you definitely. again. Okay. If you if you ever have anything going on up there now, invite us up. I will. I'll let you know. And we do have things going up. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there we go. Besides the corona, please be careful. Hold on, I'm sorry. You guys have snow right now? Yeah, well, it's kind of, yeah, we, we, yeah, we have snow. We had a lot okay. of snow the other day. Oh, yeah. You like the snow? Oh, okay. Um, it's something that um, I, I've enjoyed playing uh, in the snow with my children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you, when you're not filming, what are you doing? Are you taking care of the kids? What do you do for the pastime? Yeah, well, Melody and I, we, you know, we switch out the kids. Like I have them for a week, then she have them for a week. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, um, business, um, working on products, um, working on um, homes, uh, building houses and things of that nature. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, this TV thing is, is new to me. Um, mm -hmm. So, and that bring on different opportunities. Yes, it will. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the product is, is key now. So I'm getting off into that. I wish you and your family and everyone the best. Okay, stay in touch. Uh, you thank you so share, much. If you ever want to share anything, all right? Thanks so yep. much. I appreciate your time. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>